Hi there guys and welcome to a new video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Dangle George. I scale brands up with paid traffic and I teach AMT owners on how to do the same. Now, with all of this chat GPT, you know, going around and everyone talking about automations, I thought I would create a video on how you can automate your AMT as much as possible. So obviously with chat GPT and AI, etc. right now, the AMT life has become much, much easier. You know, if I look at my day to day, I am using AI on a regular basis and it's cut my you know, time access to books on the service delivery in at least half. You know, so create and copy, etc. you know, was all now done by chat GPT. With that said, obviously, uh, the question now that I get quite often is, well, does that mean that we are replaceable or does that mean that, you know, uh, brands will now start to use AI rather in ATs, etc.? I think agencies and AI go hand in hand, which means that you should not fear for your, you know, you being replaced, but uh, you should actually notice and see the trend that you can actually augment what you're currently doing for your clients with AI and get an even better result for them than you could previously or that you could, you know, without the AI. With that said, how can you automate your AT with AI or how can you automate your AT with just automations in general? That will all be discussed in today's video. So of course, when you look at the AT business model, I like to divide it into four pillars. Pillar number one being outreach. Pillar number two being sales. Pillar number three being project management, where you actually focus on the clients, on the projects, you know, everything around it, communication and report and so on and so forth. And then of course the fourth pillar, which is the service delivery, where you actually get the client results. So outreach is focusing on, you know, basically prospecting the clients, trying to get new clients in. Sales is when you actually close the clients and get the deal over the line. Project management is where you focus on everything that, you know, is surrounded by the project. And then service delivery is when you actually focus on getting the results. So when we look at the first pillar, our outreach, how can we automate that as much as we possibly can? Now I've said this in quite a few videos, even prior to all of the AI stuff, never do anything that a robot can do. So when you look at outreach, now let's focus on email marketing, for example, you know, there are a few steps in place there. We have finding the emails, we have sending the emails, and we have replying to the emails. Now, all three of those steps can be automated to a certain extent. So let's just start at actually finding the emails first. We can outsource this to a data miner and lead scraper, etc., on platforms like Upgrade from Fiverr. Or if you are too lazy to do that, or if you don't actually want, want to do that in your behalf, you can actually use something like the 7 lead finder to scrape emails from a database. So that way you don't need to manually go into every individual you know, store on every individual website and find the email. You can actually just pay a small monthly subscription to scrape all these emails at scale. And there are several other softwares out there, but D7 is one that has sort of withstood the test of the time. So now we have all of our emails. How do we send all these emails out, you know, at scale? One of the softwares that I recommend for this is called Streak. There is a free version of Streak and there's also a paid version of Streak, which is I think $10 a month if I remember correctly. And Streak will, it is basically a plugin for Gmail that will allow you to send Gmails out at scale. So you can send email blasts out. The great thing about something like this as well is that you have a CRM system placed into your Gmail so that you can move people along your CRM system. So you can, for example, create columns uh, outreach, reply to outreach, respond positively, respond negatively, and so on and so forth. Now, if you want a bit more automation, so you want to automate the follow-ups and the responses, etc., then there are a few other softwares that I recommend. The most proven, sort of most popular one out there is Lemlist. A Lemlist can be quite pricey, so if you do not want to pay, I think right now it's $79 a month, if I remember correctly, uh, for something like Lemlist, you can actually use Instantly, which is not as user-friendly in my opinion, but it is half the price. I think right now it's $30 a month, and you basically get the same functionality as, uh, as Lemlist. So now we've scraped our emails, we've sent out our emails, now how do you actually get calls booked? This is not really a secret anymore, you know, everyone now uses it. You have Kali where you can allow clients to book in calls, and it basically integrates with your Gmail, so that if you are not available, 
uh, on Gmail. You will automatically not be available on Calendly either. And what you can also do is come block off a specific time that you do not want to have calls. So that let's say you have a client in the US and you're based in Europe, you don't want to be on calls from like, I don't know, after 8 p.m. for example, then you can actually block that off in your calendar and then they will see in their time zones what times you're available in. So clients from the US can, for example, only be able to book calls until 1 p.m. their time. Okay, so now that is outreach out of the way, let's look at sales. Uh, one way to automate sales, I'm not going to mention Zoom or anything like that, I think that is common practice. But one way you can automate the sales is with a software called PandaDoc. With PandaDoc, you can actually uh, create templates for contracts. And then when you send the contract, uh, you can also see when the clients view the contract, how much time they spent on the contract. And when they sign the contract, an automated pop-up will appear where they can pay for the first invoice. Now, if you're on the pay plan of Paddock, I think it's the enterprise plan, if I remember correctly, um, you can actually also automate the subscription on the back end. But if you don't want to pay that and you just want to stay on the basic plan of Paladoc, you can get the initial payments and then in Stripe, you can automate uh, the subscription. Then when it comes to project management, which means managing the project, of course, we want to automate and delegate and outsource you know, the communication and the management of the entire clients as much as you possibly can. One thing I'd highly recommend is Bloom updates, which means that you send your clients a video each and every week with what's happened in the previous week, the changes you're making for this week and how that's going to affect or impact the return on ad spend and the return on investment. Now, the great thing about this is, is that you can outsource this as well. So you've automated the communication process with Loom, but you can also outsource the Loom creation so that you're not sitting there recording you know, short Loom videos for every single client each and every week. Then when it comes to the actual report, and there's a lot of different type of software out there. We use a software called Tribwell for you know quite a few of our clients. And with Tribwell, you can actually create automated reports. So every single week, our client gets reports with the spends, the amount of pages is the cost per page, just the page conversion value and the return on ad spend. So that they're in the loop every step of the way. And this just minimizes the amount of meetings that are getting booked because uh, let's face it, you know, we don't like meetings. We don't want to be on meetings 24 seven. Um, so with the Loom updates and the Triple World reporting, we have, you know, basically minimized the uh, meetings as much as we possibly can. Now, of course, this is very much tailored towards the e-commerce client side of things. If you are in the lead generation space or if you have any lead generation agency, then Zapier is, of course, your best friend. With Zapier, it's basically an if this, then that automation feature. So that means that if something happens, if there is a trigger, you can set up a response. So a very simple one is if there is a lead coming through, then the response is send the client an email saying that there's a new lead come in or add that new lead to a spreadsheet or send an email to that new lead asking if they want to book a call or a free consultation or anything like that. Then lastly, the fourth pillar of each service delivery pillar, how can we now make sure that we get the best results possibly for our clients? I already mentioned it in the start of the video, for copy, for uh, angles, for hooks, for competitor analysis, for anything along those lines, you can use chat GPT. I even started using it for captions, for product descriptions, for emails, for subject lines, and so on and so forth. Anything you could think of that is text-based, you could probably or almost, you know, certainly automate in with chat GPT. Then when it comes to actually, you know, running the ads for your clients, there is a new software out there that is uh, something that I highly recommend. It's incredible. It's also based off of AI and it's called Billy Grace. Now, the great thing about Billy Grace, especially when you have clients on multiple platforms, is that you can decide the budgets at a software level. So the way campaign budget optimization works for Facebook, where you set the budgets on campaign level, and then Facebook will decide which ad sets get the majority of the budget based on you know, their own AI, based on what they think will perform best. You can take it a step further with Billy Grace. So quick example, let's say you have a hundred dollars that they spend and you have platforms like Google, TikTok, um, Pinterest, and Facebook and you want to allocate that budget over all the platforms. What you can do is you can actually set that daily budget in Billy Grace, and then Billy Grace's AI will actually spread out that budget in a way that Billy Grace thinks will get you the most bang for your buck. So it could be that one day you see 50% of the budget go to Facebook, and then the remaining 50% spread out over, like I said, TikTok, Google, uh, Pinterest, and so on and so forth. 
Uh, but then a day later, you will notice that 20% will only go to Facebook and the majority will be spread out over TikTok and Google and nothing on Pinterest. Now, the great thing about Billy Grace as well is that they claim that all of these changes do not affect Facebook's learning phase. So that is something that they do take into consideration and they'll only subtract or add 20% of the budget every single day. So that means that it doesn't mess up the learning phase, but you still get the most bang for your buck. It's just a much easier way of getting results for your clients on multiple platforms. Ever since uh, we've started using Billy Grace, we've also started offering TikTok ads as a service. Um, I've already mentioned in a previous video, we also have uh, a Google Ads experience that runs Google Ads. And the great thing about it is we ask the client what their total ad budget is for the month, and then we spread it out through Billy Grace. So that at the end of the month, with Billy Grace and Triple Whale and so on and so forth, you know, we can provide the clients with the best ROI possible, the best report possible, and the best communication possible as well. And the last but we'll say you at least something that is already integrated into Facebook with its automated rules. So for those of you that do not use automated rules or do not know what automated rules are, you could basically set rules within your Facebook ads manager to automatically increase the budget if you get a ROAS over a certain amount automatically turn off ads that do not get a you know a certain amount of pages within a certain given time but you can also set qualifiers so that Facebook actually only looks at the ads at the ad sets etc after a certain amount of spend after a certain amount of impressions or after a certain amount of reach so that you know that where it does actually switch off an ad or where it does actually you know increase the budget it's based off of real data and not just a very you know, small pool of data because if you get one sale and it's only got a one dollar spend it could also be a fluke and you don't want facebook to automatically you know increase the budget by 100 percent because facebook thinks that uh because of that one sale and um, that you know that is the winning ad and that it means that you can scale that campaign or that ad set so those are my software recommendations. That is how I use AI and automation to scale up my agency to that next level. If you want to know more about scaling your agency to the next level, I highly recommend you check out Consult X. I have a video in the description box down below as well, which shows you exactly what we do with Consult X, how we teach you guys on how we can scale your agency to that next level. And we also have a guarantee. And the guarantee is that if we do not help you get a 3x Return on your investments into Consult X within the first 90 days, you get all your money back. So that is it for today's video. Like this video if you got some hours of it. Comment down below what you'd like to see on this channel next. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.